Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Bangladesh anti quota protest intensifies over 39 dead news channels go cases of the virus infection. In the past 24 hours, a total of five children were found suspected of Chandipura virus in Himmatnagar. Meanwhile, Gujarat Chief Minister Bhupendra Patel reviewed the virus situation in the state and the measures taken to control the epidemic. Neighboring Rajasthan has also reported one death from the Chandipura virus. Chandipura virus is associated with encephalitic illness the virus causes fever with symptoms similar to flu and acute encephalitis. It's a transmitted by vectors like mosquitoes, ticks and sandflies. The US on Thursday urged India to support efforts to realize an enduring and just peace for Ukraine and said America partners with India in several key areas. US State Department Deputy Spokesperson Vedant Patel said on Thursday that in the context of Ukraine and Russia's ongoing war, the U.S. will continue asking all the partners, including India, to realize the seriousness of the situation and also urge Russia to withdraw troops from Ukraine's sovereign territory. PM Modi was on an official visit to Russia from July 8 to 9 and met Russian President Vladimir Putin. PM Modi said that there is no solution on the battlefield and added that peace talks do not succeed amid bombs, guns and bullets. India has always advocated peace and diplomacy for resolving the conflict between Ukraine and Russia. Bangladesh student protests intensified on Friday as death toll from the violent clashes between the police and protesters reached 39. Buildings were damaged and shared vehicles lined the streets of Dhaka as television news channels were off the air and telecommunications were widely disrupted across the country amid violent student protest. Bangladesh Channel 24 suddenly went to a black screen in the middle of a news broadcast in which anchors were speaking. Police in riot gear were seen standing guard and security checkpoints were set up in Dhaka following the fresh violence. <laughs> Some pro-government protesters were also seen marching through the streets, chanting slogans and waving the national flag. Hundreds of people were injured as police fired tear gas and rubber bullets to break up groups of protesters who torched vehicles, police posts and other establishments, witnesses said. The demonstration started last month after the High Court reinstated the quota system which sets aside 30% of government jobs for families of those who fought in the 1971 War of Independence from Pakistan. The move overturned a 2018 decision by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's government to scrap it. On the government's appeal, Bangladesh's top court has suspended the reinstated system and is set to hear a challenge against it on August 7. সমস্যা তো এখানে গাড়িতে যাওয়া যায় না ব্যবসা বাণিজ্য বন্ধ তাই কোন জায়গা না গিয়ে যাইতে পারলে কিভাবে মানুষ ব্যবসা করবে Meanwhile the Indian government heightened security outside the Bangladesh High Commission in New Delhi following the violence in Dhaka Indian Foreign Ministry also issued an advisory for its citizens in Bangladesh to follow the guidelines by its High Commission in Dhaka Pakistani counter-terror officials on Friday arrested an Al-Qaeda leader, Amin ul Haq, known for his close association with Osama bin Laden, the mastermind behind the 9-11 attacks on the United States. Pakistan's first Al-Qaeda arrest in many years comes
comes as the counter terrorism department in its most populous province of Punjab registered a legal case against Haq accusing him of planning a sabotage key installations there he figured on the un list for his association with the al qaeda bin laden or taliban groups contributing to or supporting activities such as supplying selling or transferring arms and related materials to them bin laden was killed in 2011 during a us raid on his hideout in pakistan The Afghanistan Journalist Center on Thursday reported that seven media outlets have been shut down in the first half of 2024 under Taliban orders. The center also documented 89 violations against journalists and media, including 60 threats and 29 detentions. The center mentioned that some of these media outlets remain closed due to the Taliban intelligence not renewing their licenses, leading to their suspension. The center mentioned that the Taliban prohibit cooperation with active media outlets in exile while restricting access to information. The center has urged the Taliban to refrain from imposing unjustified and illegal demands on journalists and media and to create an environment where the media can operate without fear. Meanwhile, the situation facing journalists and media under Taliban rule remains challenging. and requires continued international attention and advocacy to uphold freedom of expression and press freedoms in Afghanistan Human Rights Watch has urged Sri Lanka to repeal its Prevention of Terrorism Act claiming the Allen nation has used it to target perceived opponents and minority communities without credible evidence to support the allegations The New York based rights group also urged the US, UK and the EU to prevail upon Sri Lanka to repeal the law which it has not done despite repeated pledges to end the practice. The report stated that while some victims have suffered years of arbitrary detention and torture others are persecuted even after the case against them is dropped. Sri Lanka has come under repeated and increased international pressure to repeal the PTA after it was adopted in 1979 to counter the separatist terrorism moved by Tamil armed groups. The group has urged the government to impose a full moratorium on the PTA and work to repeal it and draft a rights respecting counter terrorism legislation in consultation with experts and civil society. Chinese Premier Li Keqiang on Thursday expressed his desire to implement the understanding reached between the top leaders and the two countries in the past to collaborate under the China-Nepal Belt and Road Cooperation and also to promote collaboration in other areas to further promote bilateral ties. In a message, Li extended hearty congratulations to the newly appointed Prime Minister of Nepal, who is also seen as pro-China leader KP Sharma Oli on behalf of the Chinese government. Nepal and China signed a memorandum of understanding on the Belt and Road Initiative, a flagship initiative of Chinese President Xi Jinping. Under the initiative, the two countries are expected to focus on connectivity, trade, development strategies and policy dialogue for cooperation in the fields of economy, environment technology and culture among others. Li said that he is always willing to see new progress in Nepal-China friendly strategic partnership. for attaining development and prosperity That's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time next week have a great weekend good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India breaking news and views from India